this what you're waiting for? Hmm? Good morning everyone, Aja here from Pandemonium. It is an overcast, cloudy day, but it's still beautiful here at the lake. I'll show you in a minute, the lake has gone down, way down, because I think they are watering the fields in Yuma, and when they do that, they release water from the lake, and it feeds the reservoirs that feed the fields in Yuma. So the lake is way down, and then it obviously fills back up. Here's my breakfast this morning. I have been eating eggs and avocado, but I thought I would change it up this morning. I had some leftover potato wedges from KFC, and I cut them up and cut up some peppers and sauteed it all together, and it actually makes for an awesome hash browns. And I love the happy eggs, the coloring of the yolk. It's so pretty. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my awesome breakfast and then I'm gonna show you how low the lake has gotten. Yeah, it's pretty low. This is actually the lowest I've seen it. It should start coming back up now because they'll release water into the reservoir and then it'll start slowly coming back up. Here you can see there's a land bridge there, a little spot there. That island's over there. That island actually has camping spots on it. We were talking about taking the paddle boards over there and camping over there one night, but we'll see how that goes. One of our friends, Jake, made it from Utah. We have some other friends coming today as well. Colleen doing her crazy dance. <laughs> run, crazy, run! <laughs> so, this is a really cool spot here. It's kind of tucked into the trees. That's awesome. I kind of like that. But they say there's no reception. Jimmy had parked here before. There's no reception and the solar's not very good since the trees kind of hide it. My goodness, there's a lot of donkey poo. Okay, well, we're going to run up to the front because I've looked for my pass and I cannot find it. So I'm just going to go and get one from the front. We talked to him yesterday. We didn't have the correct change. You need cash and to have the correct change. And then, um, yeah, so we're going to go up there now that we got the correct change and get the pass. Mine actually didn't expire till February, but I guess it's okay. It's only December. But if you can't find it, you can't find it. I went and asked if they would give me a copy of another, but so you're allotted two passes. And if you don't use the other pass, that's your spare pass. But if um, you don't, if I already use that spare pass, so I have to just buy another one. They can't make me a copy. Okay, got both of my stickers since I do have a tow vehicle. I'm gonna put this one on the truck. Uh, you can really tell how low the water is on this end. It's usually up to here. These RVs don't even have water, but it's probably even more. When I was in town at the Goodwill, I picked up these cast iron decorative pieces. I want to use them to hold hanging baskets. I was actually thinking about putting them here. Thought that'd be nice and decorative. 
I'm gonna put some double-sided tape up and then screw them in. Look, somebody left their googly eyeballs at my camp. Googly. Jeff is braising some meat to go into the slow cooker. Mmm. We have smell of bacon, it smells yummy. But we're gonna do, um, what is this, the ribs and cabbage. I have some cabbage I'm gonna cut up and I'm also gonna make some white rice for it to go over. We're taking a nice evening stroll. The sun is ready set. Feels nice out. A little cool. You can tell it's gonna be a little chilly tonight. Ooh, look. Isn't that pretty? Well, besides the pile of wood. Tamarisk. Oh, nice. It's beautiful. Invasive species. Oh. They make pretty pink flowers. It is beautiful. Yeah, it does look fuzzy. Oh, it feels kind of fuzzy. There's definitely a lot of camping spots around here. Here's one right by the water. That's kind of secluded. There's a lot of hidden spots. There's another one. That one's taken though. We're gonna walk up and around this side. I think this is where our friend Chuck is camping. It's kind of far away from everybody, but that's cool. Is it normal? We've walked across that land bridge right there before, several times actually. And then there's a, I think there's a preserve, a wildlife preserve on the other side. It's really beautiful. Yeah, we can do that tomorrow. What, walk to the preserve? We'll just walk across. That'd be cool. Oh, duckies swimming. Oh no, those are... What are they? Coots. Coots. She's gonna pull you down the hill. Oh yeah, Chuck has a nice little spot right there. Yeah, there's his tent. His tent and his uh, paddle board. Yeah, the water has receded and the beaches are becoming larger. We've been down here before. Uh oh, she's gone. Oh, thorny. A lot of pricklies in the desert. Those are some pretty long spikes. What? This, uh, oh. Movie trap. <laughs> <laughs> His motion detector, so he knows when somebody's coming in. Yeah. Well, isn't he crafty? Someone's coming down my driveway. Chuck is usually parked uh, way down there by us. This is a nice big open space. But it is kind of removed from the main beach. There's another spot here too. There used to be a swing here. Oh, there was a swing here? Uh, this tree right here, there's a tree Huh. No more tree swing? I know. This is a pretty big one down here. I think it wraps around too. Uh oh. Make sure I don't slide down this. Right, Linda? Don't pull me downhill. Oh. oh, we made it. Look how calm the water looks. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful, Mumu. It's beautiful. Uh oh, here comes Al. She's like, ah, it's my water, mine. There are the coots right there. Just floating along or swimming along. Thank you. Does it wrap all the way around? Yeah, when the water is down, it goes. 
<laughs> she said, I'm playing in the water. I'm going to play. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> She's insane in the membrane. <laughs> She's crazy. Hey. You're crazy. Look, there's a shipping container on the other side. That's actually the dumpster. And that's where we walk across the land bridge. You have to be on that side. There's a different path over there. What? Did you say you could get to Colleen's? This is the other spot I was talking about right here, this lower level. Can we walk across? There are coyote dens, but they're on that side, in that um, brush over there, on the other side of the lake. And we have another friend who's parked over here, Colleen and Donnie. Seems like they have neighbors. Sometimes this is receded and you can actually walk all through here. But it is a bit mucky. What's she doing with the pink harness, huh? Uh oh, my shoes come undone. Hold on. Oh. Hey, Kellogg. Ew, is that a fish bone? No, Momo, yeah. stop. It is fish bone? Wow, that's a big fish. Can we make, oh no. It's not receded enough, I guess. Well, you could climb over it. Or go swimming. Hey. Mm. Look at y'all, crazy oh, I it was fish. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's just a, a stick. Nasty. Stick. He's the stick. He's a stick dog. He likes his sticks. Hey, how'd you beat us up here? Did you climb the side? Oh, I see. I think it's stuck in the thorns. Oh yeah, those thorns you gotta watch out. They're pretty sharp and long. There are several of these trees and they're just massive. Jimmy was just pointing out this is one tree. It's huge. All right, we're heading back to our side of the ocean beachfront property. Is that a hawk in the tree? Straight ahead? Oh, maybe. Looks like it. Or we novel. saw Looks more like a hawk. We saw a hawk earlier today get one of the, um, what are the, quails? Quails. Yeah. It made one loud screech and that was it. It was right by us too. It was kind of freaky. Freaky deaky. Is she going down the donkey route? Oh yeah, that's definitely a hawk. Better watch him when he's staring at you. I think he's about as big as Moo Moo anyways. He couldn't pick her up. Is it a hawk or is it an owl? Actually, it's a, definitely bigger than I thought it was. It's more like olive size. See it? It's right top of that one there. Kind of hard to see the foliage is kind of covering him. Oh, there he is. He's staring right at me. Stranger danger. Bye. <laughs> He's like, what is that? Can I pick up one of those dogs? <laughs> He's watching Olive being crazy. This is crazy, cra crazy monster. <laughs> You are a hyper tonight. She has been for the last two days. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Here we go around the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. <laughs> mulberry. Oh, God. Oh, Momo. Mul <laughs> You're attached, honey. Silly. 
Who is like, I want to go. Let me go. Crazy. I hope we gave you some entertainment. Well, at least the dogs did. Bye, Mr. Hawk. Come on, go. <laughs> Come on, Kelly. It's nice how they have pit toilets here. They're spread about. There's probably, like, what, like eight? Six? Six to eight pit toilets. Yeah, so just in this section here, there's like three, and they're pretty close to each other. There's one there, and you go to the end of this road, there's another one. And you go past us, and there's another one. It felt like there was a stick in my shoe, but it was a rock. Stupid rock. Biscuit! Donkey biscuit! Donkey poo poo biscuit! Are y'all coming down to where we are? Yes, I'm oh. videotaped my walk. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> I, I should have figured. I know, right? Is that a new camera? No. Oh. It's the, well, I mean, it's new-ish. It's the 10, I think. Is it, is it on 10? Now it's on 11 or something? I don't know. I can't keep up with all the numbers. Yeah, I think they come out with one every year, so they're either on 10 or 11. I think this one, this one might be the nine. Yay, we've made it back. It does feel nice out. This part here reminds me of South Carolina, the trees that go like this. It reminds me of the beaches on South Carolina or in South Carolina. Hey, Holly. Oh, hey, Holly. Boo. Are y'all ready for a fire? Yes. Oh, I thought you were about is to it... say, are you ready for a hike when we just got back from... <laughs> we went and checked out your place. Are you oh, doing you like it? it? Yeah, way out there. I've been down there before. It's nice. It's secluded. You're way far away Where's from everybody. Where's my fire going yet? Huh? No. no. There was no fire. Is it like instantaneous? Yeah. Uh, it's as soon like, as it gets dark, we have a... And then I saw your security system yeah. on your driveway. <laughs> His doorbell? Yes. Ding dong! Do you have, uh, are you doing firewood or are you doing your propane? There's, um, well we can do either or if y'all want to sit in the tent, but there is a, um, what do you call it? Clam. There's the clam or on the other side of Jeff on the beach, there is the, um, the fire pit and it does okay. already have wood at it. Okay, because well we have, wood. I have four huge logs, but okay. they still need to be chopped down. Okay. I don't so, have an axe, so. Yeah, neither Chuck do we. Does. Chuck is going to bring me one so I can chop oh, them down. Oh, Chucky. That'll be tomorrow. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> There's actually a lot of wood around here that they yeah. encourage us to burn anyway, so. Yeah, exactly. So, all right. Fire Hello, time. Yeah. Okay, you're free. Free. You go. So are these your lounge chairs for um, nude sunbathing? Yes, yes. We get naked every day between 10 and 2. Come on, check us out. No, That's so, in the front yard. Thank you for telling me now I know when not to come over. <laughs> we have our lounges in the backyard at home for afternoon sunbathing. Oh, okay, cool. Yes. See. Oh, there's the coyote. Oh. She's like, I can do that too. And take that. Oh, should we turn the arsenal into a discotheque? Oh, cool. it's the oh my god, I'm so sad. They're going crazy over the coyotes. So they turned it into a discotheque. Oh, nice. It kind of looks like water on the ceiling. That is pretty cool. I like the light. Uh oh, we, we just need some music. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, look at your little Christmas tree. Look at Aja. It's all about this. What? What does that say? Quit your belly aching. Oh, quit your belly aching. That's what the dogs are doing right now. Oh, yeah. I hear the coyotes. What is it, Momo? Is it the coyotes? Coyotes in the camp. That is where we came from, and you remember I told you that the coyote yeah. um, dens are over there, on the other side. 
They must be coming out now. Another beautiful night here at Senator's Wash. Last time we used the clam and the propane fire, but we're gonna sit out tonight. Hopefully it doesn't get too cold. I forgot I almost didn't show you the inside here. So I showed you where I did the backsplash on the sticky tile. Got everything organized, the knives, all the cookware, coffee pot, water, got some candles. There's my stove. I haven't done anything. I'm gonna do a backsplash there. And this is actually what I'm working on now. Like I said, I'm gonna hang those up. This is the living room. I'm going with a boho style. I also added these in to the knobs. I think I'm gonna replace the knobs to glass knobs and reattach these. So this is what my couch looks like. Let me turn on the light actually so you get a better view. Have some throw pillows and throws. Added some wall decor here. It's my favorite part, Mr. Owl. He's so cute. Then a dried plant there. Of course, you've seen my curtains before. I'm not quite done yet, but it's getting there. And some more throw pillows and a throw on this side. So with boho style, you usually layer rugs, but I don't know if I have enough room to layer rugs. So I might just get a nice rug to go here, kind of a Mediterranean or Oriental rug to go here. But if I can find a small, small rug to layer on top, then I'll do that. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you. This is the project I'm going to be working on. I'm going to make a camp stove out of that, but we'll get to that later. I have some more growing plants here. This little grow pod. Arrow Garden. It's growing lettuce now. They're starting to sprout. Yay, I'm excited about that. So I'll have plenty of lettuce. Mumu sleeping. Mumu. You sleeping? I guess she is. So yeah. Getting everything done. I've gotten this wall. I found this little P for Panda. Right there. And just filled this wall in. Dana had gotten me this, but I'd got this from another friend and I just combined them because I thought they looked good together. And yeah, my bedroom is still a work in progress, but I've got some of it done. It's kind of dark back here. Hold on. So I just have throws. I added this in because it matches my paintings I have here. And then this is my bedroom. I added that little sconce there. I think it looks good. Pulls out the gold and the yellows that are in the throw here. So yeah, that's it. I don't know if I ever showed my battery bank, but this is the battery bank for the actual solar panel I put up as an awning. Got an extra water thing there. But I'll give a full tour once everything is done. So if y'all aren't familiar with boho, it just means bohemian. It's kind of a gypsy style, a mishmash of patterns and prints and just kind of whatever you collect in your travels so and whatever you love so that's why I like the style because it kind of suits me I kind of am eclectic and like different things and different patterns and different things make me happy and you can combine them all together to make a look so I'm liking it so far can't wait to get it finished always a work in progress but I think it looks good it's definitely more homey than it was before it was just definitely like an RV. Nothing in it. Yeah. Rug. Rug. I need a rug. That's the next thing I'm going to look for. Okay. So with this, I clean the surfaces with alcohol. I have to clean the other surface outside. And I put the 30-pound sticky tape on this one. So I still need to apply the 30-pound sticky tape on this one. And then I can hang them up. And there are screw holes. So I can put two little screws in on each side for extra support. So when I put the planter on it, it'll hold good. So this is rated for 30 pounds, this tape. And it holds really well. So I could probably just do that and not drill holes. But we'll see. Okay, it is done. Ooh, look at that. That looks yummy. I just made some rice to go with it. Is the meat falling apart? Yes. Nice. Mmm, Momo, look at that goodness right there. Ooh. 
Oh, that's a lot of meat going on. Hold on. Let me get more veggies. Some juice. Some juice. Oops. Alright, time to eat before the evening's fire. Uh, just be careful not to put too much juice in it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because the juice is a little bit on the salty side. Oh my god, the meat is just falling apart. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yummy, yummy. Hey, Holly. <laughs> what you doing? Ah, uh -huh, you smell the food. No, you can't get none of this. Why are the dogs hanging out by you over there? Uh-huh, that's why. You're giving them food. I think we shut up the coyotes. Yeah. Having the dogs barking back at them. <laughs> I think so, too. Damn. They're like, uh, never mind. In. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of them over there. It's not one we could just pick on. You're welcome. Oh, that's like, ooh, you got meat. I want some. Mm -hmm. You want a carrot? I'll go ahead. Hey, buddy. You, you got enough. I'll go ahead. Thank you very much. Appreciate You're it. Welcome. Holly's like, I'm very upset. I didn't even What kind of rice is it? It is actually a mixture of like wild rice, of wild rice along with uh, quinoa and um, brown rice. Mm, good. Uh oh, collecting firewood over there. Mm. I love it. That's awesome. Right now, I just have them held up by the thirty-pound tape, so we'll see how that holds. I'm gonna get a flower pot, just a small flower hanging basket, to go there. And there's one on the other side as well. I like them. I know it's a little dark, but I'm putting in these self-tapping bolts. They're just small bolts. Okay. I'm ready actually... to. I'm gonna start stripping the wood and, and doing the foo foo. I mean, look at those thorns on that thing. And he's playing with it. I know. It's good for burning though. Yeah. No. It is. Yeah, that's some sharp looking for him. For a second there, I thought Chuck's light was the full moon. It's not <laughs> yet. You want to see a full moon? Oh, no. No! Cut! I Eat your food, Moo Moo. Good girl. Sue and Ed had bought me this zombie zin wine for my birthday. I think I'm actually going to have a little red wine by the fire. Cheers. Actually, it's not that bad. It's a little strong, but definitely not bad. Look, the um. Balloon is in front of the moon. It looks like Santa Claus. Oh, you can It's it's getting out of there. Uh, out of there now. Who? You. They, you probably can't see it on here. Stop trying to steal the firewood. <laughs> oh no. What are you doing, Kella? Stealing the firewood. <laughs> 